The Red Sox and the Red Sox Foundation created the Scholars Program in 2003 to assist academically talented but economically disadvantaged students on the Boston public school system. The program, sponsored by Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, now touches 210 students. Scholars from the class of 2004, the second class in the program's history, graduated from high school this spring. I started in fifth grade, and usually fifth graders, you're, you know, you're transitioning to um, middle school, so it's like a big change. And to have the Red Sox behind you, that was a big deal. And you know, college is so far away, but it felt so close thanks to the Red Sox. And they took us on field trips, talked about college, and got us started. And I feel like I've, I'm more prepared thanks to the Red Sox. It's been like amazing, like, I don't know, it's like if anything happens, I always have in the back of my mind, like, I can't mess up my scholarship, I have to think of the Red Sox. And then like, every year coming to like Fenway, it's just like been more and more of an opportunity, still meeting new people, still getting to know people in my class. So it's like been really amazing, I love it. Right here, right here. There's a little joke that runs through the foundation that says that I have 211 children, the 11th being my son and then the other 210 uh, being our Red Sox scholars. I think that's one of the best uh, things about the program, one of the best things about uh, the ownership and the organization itself has really has encouraged me to get to know the kids and not just, you know, write checks for uh, college, but really help the kids, help their families, and really uh, let them optimize uh, their, their scholarships. The ninth class of Red Sox Scholars was introduced at Fenway on Sunday. Where are you, guys, where are you from? Uh, East Boston. Yeah. East Boston. Nice. The 10th 7th grade students will be eligible for a $10,000 college scholarship upon graduation from high school. They'll also receive enrichment opportunities throughout high school and support during the college application process. In school, I was always good academically, but when it, came, when it came to conduct and effort, I wasn't really invested in school. I was more worried about like my friends, what everybody else is doing, and that led me to do, take like some really bad decisions, which like completely changed my life. So a lot of people would think that um, that would label me as just like a bad kid or a kid that misbehaves a lot. I don't want to ever go back to that because I know that's not me. That's just like a fake part of me that I was trying to be. That's not gonna be me. Like I'll forever continue to like change and be better. I think this program is important to the community because it has a trickle down effect. You know, we'll give one kid a scholarship, and that not only affects the kid himself, but it affects their family. They see. You know, his younger brother sees that his older brother got a scholarship. That that motivates the younger brother. That motivates the neighbor, the neighbor, the neighborhoods, and so on and so forth. And it really brings a new life to the whole school. They say that the kid next to me got a scholarship. I can go on and get a scholarship, whether it be a Red Sox scholarship or some other scholarship. I can go out and do uh, achieve big things just like the Red Sox scholarship. Red Sox Foundation programs such as the Red Sox Scholars are funded by the fans of Red Sox Nation at events like Picnic in the Park. That annual fundraiser is set for Sunday, July 24th at Fenway Park. Red Sox players will join fans in an evening of fun on the field. For tickets and details, visit redsox.com slash picnic.